Follow the band of Robert E. Howard heroes traveling to find the source of the Black Stone's power and destroy it. Are their smarts and skills enough to overcome a deadly evil in a Hyborian jungle? Let's find out in Conan Battle of the Black Stone number 3 from Titan Comics. See you in 3. Welcome back to Comical Opinions. This is our review of Conan the Battle of the Black Stone number 3. Consistent with every Conan title published by Titan, Conan Battle of the Black Stone is one of the best comics from almost any other publisher. You get the unlikeliest of teams coming together from Robert E. Howard's catalog to fight an otherworldly evil, which is all anyone could ask for. That said, this issue is maybe our least favorite of the miniseries so far. Before we dig in, let's recap what happened previously. When last we left the collective of Robert E. Howard adventurers in Conan Battle of the Black Stone number 2, Conrad and Kiran were joined by Brissa against a Lovecraftian monster in the 1930s. The monster's defeat ultimately led the spirit of James Allison to transport all the Howard heroes to the Hyborian Age to join Conan for the forthcoming fight against the Blackstone's influence. The issue ended with the beast reappearing to claim El Barak's life. And that brings us to the current issue. In Conan Battle of the Blackstone number 3, the team travels through the Hyborian jungles guided by the spirit of James Allison, who remains tethered to a shard of black stone held by Brissa. During the travels, the members of the team talk with each other about their situations. Conrad and Kirwan debate how to catalog their experience, whether anyone will believe them, or if they'll live long enough to deliver the report. Conan and Brissa debrief each other on what happened to Brissa after she disappeared during Conan's first encounter with the black stone, way back in the first arc of Conan's ongoing series and Dark Agnes and Solomon Kane secretly discuss their encounters with evil entities in their past adventures. Writer Jim Zub uses the foot journey of the heroes to get inside the head of each character, understand how they perceive their situation, and foreshadow how each will react when the supernatural poo pits the fan. That said, the length of the conversations brings the pacing down quite a bit, and the value of the dialogue barely rises above the level of chit-chat. In short, there's a lot of talking in the beginning of this issue, and that doesn't really move the story forward in any tangible way. Brissa shows Conan she has a shard of the Black Stone that tethers James Allison's undead spirit to their realm. The spirit is drawn to other pieces of the Black Stone to point the way for the team's journey, so they're, they're not just wandering around randomly, they actually know where to go. Soon the team finds another shard embedded in a tree, but before Brissa can pull it out, Conrad asks to examine the shard in place since he believes the swirls of greenish energy that are emanating from it may be sigils that could provide some valuable information. When Conrad approaches the shard, however, it seizes his mind the same way it seized El Barak in the previous issue, compelling Conrad to impale his hand on the shard, trapping him. We're a little down on the beginning of the issue because of the amount of dialogue and that just effectively goes nowhere, but once the team finds the next shard embedded in the tree, the pace and tension ramp up quickly. Sub builds a palpable atmosphere of frenzy that verges on panic when Conrad is drawn into imminent peril, but the team is at a loss as to what to do about it. How do you save someone when you don't know what's happening to them or how to help them? The fear is relatable and it grabs you, which is a fantastic way to draw you into the story. The issue ends with Conan taking drastic steps to save Conrad, Dark Agnes running out of patience with catastrophic results, and Six becoming three. Overall, Conan The Battle of the Black Stone number 3 is a super solid issue that starts at a leisurely pace but picks up steam for a hammer blow of an ending. Jim Zub nails the characters' voices during the opening conversations, even if those chats slow the pace down quite a bit. And the ending is a killer, and I mean that literally. Let's switch gears and talk about the art for a second. Jonas Scharf brings the heat in an issue filled with lush jungle landscapes, striking figure work, Fantastic use of dramatic shadows to present an air of dread in broad daylight and gritty action. Combine Sharp's outstanding line work with Jao Canola's amazing colors and you get a fantastic looking comic. Taking a step back and looking at the big picture, Conan Battle of the Blackstone acts as a standalone miniseries, but it borrows heavily from Titan's ongoing Conan title and the Savage Sword of Conan black and white anthology series. Specifically, each character appearing in this issue was foreshadowed in the Savage Sword of Conan number 4, and Brissa's disappearance, which led to her return in this adventure and, and plays a big part in what's going on, began in Conan the Barbarian number 4, which was all the way back last year. Final thoughts, what do we think about Conan Battle of the Blackstone number 3? It leads the team of Robert E. Howard's heroes into the jungle for a harrowing hunt and a deadly outcome. Despite a slow pace in the beginning, and it's 
Uh, it's not bad, but it, we've seen better. Jim Zub's tail gradually builds speed for a killer ending, and Jonas Sharp's artwork looks fantastic. Therefore, Conan Battle of the Blackstone number 3 earns an 8.5 out of 10. Even for a less good issue, this is still one of the best comics of the week. But what do you think? Are you enjoying this Robert E. Howard crossover? Leave a thumbs up if you are, and drop a comment below if you found this review helpful. Also, remember to click on the link in the description to read the written review, check out the variant covers and preview pages, and buy this comic to help support the channel. Your support, of course, is greatly appreciated. So thank you very much for joining, and stay tuned through the outro for more reviews just like this one.